Hello everyone, I'm Cheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. I have a lovely guest for all of you. I'd like for her to introduce herself, her first and last name and the name of her business. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Shaw and I own Fresh Start Cleaning in Havertown, Pennsylvania. I love, I love, hello my darling, good to see you, good to see you. Even with all of this uncertainty going on, I wanted you to share with everybody the nature of your business. What exactly do you do? We are a professional cleaning service, mainly uh, focusing on commercial and post-construction cleaning. Uh, we do have some one-time residential cleans, like for lots of real estate agents, whether people are moving in, moving out, maybe they need a freshen up. Uh, we don't base our clients really aren't like the weekly residential clean, but we specialize in commercial, big commercial, big um, retail turnover post construction. So. Oh, I love that. And because it's really about the fresh start for you, right? Like, I mean, I think that once, you know, you go into a new space, if I'm leasing a new space or if I'm moving into a new office, I want it to feel fresh. I don't want to bring in all of the last tenant stuff if you know what i mean is that what you're talking about it is exactly what i'm talking about yes i started this business probably 10 years ago i needed a fresh start a little change in my uh in my family life and so i started this fresh start cleaning all of our employees some of them need a fresh start and all of our clients need a fresh start so whether it's uh just like you said, cleaning up for someone moving in, someone moving out. Uh, we've done lots of like things now with the pandemic. Yes. So. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah. and I think that that's so super important, especially now in the importance of cleanliness and the importance of making sure that you have that fresh start in the way in which it works out. Usually, those types of cleaning jobs are massive. I mean, those that's been all of the things get left behind that somebody didn't want to take with them um, when the flipping, I'm sure, I'm sure these are the larger, these are the larger undertaking. I mean, why did you decide that this was the industry versus the every other week cleaning someone's residential home? Why was this a choice that you made? It is just so satisfying to see yeah. the before and after. I have lots of pictures and I love that feeling of seeing the space, especially if it's a post-construction yeah. retail space it's dirty yes. it's dusty i'm going to see two today mm -hmm. and it's a mess sometimes they don't even have their walls up right. it's amazing all the trades are in there there's electrical you know we're the last trade to come in so mm -hmm. uh, i get to see the beginning the yeah. middle and then we're the end where i see it all beautiful and we make it dust free wow. and just it's it's i love to see that pro the progression yeah of the, uh, of the cleaning mm -hmm. no i absolutely love that as well i think that there's something magical about having nothing or having something start at a certain point and then it becoming something spectacular and then even more so having people enter into it right because once it's once you do what you do they get to bring all of that decor and product and all of that stuff into the space talk to me about the relationship that you have with your clients what does that really look like? Do you have to have a better understanding as to the functionality of the space, what they need, the accessibility of the space? Tell me about your communication with a potential or your current clients. Oh, sure. So we love to see the job like on site. It's hard to do um, a, a go and, and just have a relationship over the phone. I want to see I want to see the specs of the products that they're putting in so I know the right cleaners to use. Uh -huh. We definitely have a lot of um, the, the people I'm visiting today. I've already been there last week, but I want to see again, even though the job is not starting in three weeks, you definitely have that, have that communication. And especially for post-construction, you have to be willing to move your date because as we know, <laughs> rain, sickness, like something just gets moved. So we have to be flexible as well. So our relationship, especially with those clients, 
is sometimes ever changing, even from the course of the first time that we meet until the, the job is finished. Oh, I think that that's spectacular. Also, I what I hear in everything that you're saying, especially in the length of time in which you've been doing this, is a sense of expertise in the sense of knowing surfaces, knowing the cleaning products, knowing the time that it I'm sure requires in order to clean spaces of various size. How important is you bringing your expertise to the table when working with your clients? It's very important, and I have a degree already in science. I was a microbiologist a long time ago, so I have a degree in laboratory medicine, so I know how to read a spec. I know how to read certain ingredients. I know how to clean right now for this pandemic. So oh. when someone says to me, oh, you know, can you bring your sprayers, your froggers, like everything needs to ble be bleached, I try to calm them down because lots of other companies are trying to take advantage of people, you know, people reopening their business. All that, you know, these aren't surgical sites that they're moving back into. It does not have to be sterile. Chances are, unless there's been an active yep. uh, COVID infection in there or someone is in your face with a, like a large viral load, you don't need that type of equipment. You don't need that type of cleaning. So I try to reassure all these people that, especially if the business has been closed, they're, we're okay to just sort of come in, yeah. gently wipe some things with a good disinfectant, um, bring a team. We're, we're gloved, we're masked, we have our booties. We don't need Tyvek suits with crazy respirators. <laughs> I just try to reassure them that, um, you know, we're going to make it safe and clean and, and do our best to. And yeah. so I think that, that does help oh, to know what I, you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I love that. And what ignites, you know, what I'm thinking is the importance of education in this, right? And the importance mm -hmm. of walking your client through the process. I think that ultimately now more than ever, but even when you're moving or downsizing or upgrading into a new space, understanding the chemicals that are going to be within your space, if any, understanding, you know, the length of time, understanding how you are going to, in fact, clean something out and let it be a fresh start. Let me know, you know, how you walk them through that. Is that meeting with them? Is that talking? Is it sharing information? How do you ensure that your clients are well informed? It's always meeting with them. It's knowing each surface, whether it's just marble, granite, counter, mm -hmm. whatever kind of thing that we have to clean. It's their type of flooring. And sometimes they don't even know, but I'll say, look, ask the builder or let's, let's figure out what this is before we proceed. You do not want to throw just any kind of chemical. So it is an, it is an extensive walkthrough. Sometimes it's a half hour, hour free consultation, of course, yeah. because they're probably interviewing other people as well. And they should be comfortable with who's coming in their home yes. to give them this fresh start. You have to trust someone completely to take care of the things that, you know, maybe you just don't have time to take care of. For sure. It's got to be that trust. Oh, I love that. And I think that people out there want to trust you. I think that they need that fresh start. And I have somebody, my friends, who can give it to you. If folks want to get in touch with you, if they want to follow Fan and like everything that you've got going on, where would they find that information? Um, my Insta handle is Fresh Start Service Company. Um, you can find us on Facebook at Fresh Start Service uh, Company uh, and our website is freshstart-clean.com. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for joining me. I know that there's a ton of people out there that have a lot of questions as it relates to their retail space, as it relates to cleaning their corporate offices, as people begin to open and come back to work. I now know that the, I have somebody to connect them all to. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We'd be willing to answer any questions. It's free of charge. If Even if they have a question about what product to use on their space, we absolutely would We take any kind of phone call. So I love yeah. that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Guys, now you have an expert within the space that can help you get open in the proper way. Help you with your fresh start. From all of us here at This Is It TV, I'm Sheldon Barlett-Rumor, and we will see you soon. Take care.